Hey guys, King Cage here, and welcome back to another video. And in this video, I'm gonna be showing you all how to add a glow effect to your models in Blender and make them go from this to this right here. Let's get right into this. So first off, what you want to do, go ahead and select the items that you want to glow. In this case, I'm gonna make these purple items glow right here. So this is just a simple model that I got from the game of Bed Wars on Roblox. So we are gonna be making these purple items glow. So go ahead and select them. And the easy way to do this is to combine them all together. If you want to, you could do them individually but in this case I already kind of like modeled it so I'm just gonna go ahead and combine them all together so just like this and then I'm gonna click ctrl J just to combine them together you don't have to do this if you don't want to but I just find it a lot quicker also by the way I forgot to mention make sure you are in material preview either material or the render preview either one works but once you have this go ahead and go down over to the material properties go ahead and click on the X right here click add new then where it says surface right here go ahead and click on this then go up to where it says emission so click on this and then it will start to glow kind of hard to tell right now but it is glowing so now once you have this go ahead and select the color i recommend going for a darker color than whatever you're going for so if i'm going for like bright blue then i would probably put it just a little bit darker like let's say i'm going for cyan then i would probably put it about right here and then where it says strength this is gonna be the strength of the glow. So then I would probably increase this a little bit. And there we go. Now it's cyan. And to see the glow, go ahead and click on this little camera right here. And you have to change it from Eevee over to cycles. And you also want to go into the render preview. So if you go ahead and click on this icon right here, it'll bring us into render. So this is pretty much what it looks like whenever it's rendered. And as you can see, it is kind of glowing. So it is still a pretty good glow. But to actually get the glowing effect, what you want to do, go ahead and change it over to cycles. And it will be a little bit grainy whenever you move it around like this. But as you can see, you can see the glow effect and whenever you go ahead and render it it looks much better so if we go ahead and add in a camera you can click shift a to add in a camera right here so down over to camera then we'll add a camera and then just go ahead and click zero on your number pad to go ahead and access the camera which i actually already have one right here but basically to be able to move your camera go ahead and click view navigation and then just walk navigation and then you can just move it around like this just go ahead and position it but as you can see right here it is glowing which looks awesome i actually kind of like the blue compared to the purple if we go ahead and spot in this purple one real quick actually i think combining them like that looks even cooler also once again the strength of the glow kind of depends as well so if you go ahead and click on this right here and if we go back over to the material properties where it says strength if you go ahead and decrease this as you can see the glow isn't as strong so it's not really radiating onto the armor as much and as you can see the whole armor is now blue and this is pretty much an almost white color now if you go ahead and click render render image there we go we have the full collection and just give it a second and then the grainy will start to go away because as you can see it is a little bit grainy right now but that's because it is still rendering once it's done rendering most of the grains will go away but yeah look at that that looks absolutely awesome right there i'll probably increase the glow of the blue but yeah that looks awesome but anyway that is how you go ahead and add in a glow effect also by the way if you are doing this on something such as a cube you will have to kind of add a floor underneath it because if we go over here and if we add in a cube just like this and if we go ahead and make it glow so if you add in a mission and let's just go ahead and make it glow green so as you can see it is is glowing but we can't really see the glow even whenever we're like this but that is because we actually do have to add a floor because it needs something to glow onto because it can't just glow on the background so if we go ahead and add in a plane so a plane just like this let's move down as you can see it is glowing on the plane now which that actually looks pretty cool and we can always go back over here just for the basic colors and then if we want to see what's like rendered just click on this and then we can go ahead and check out the glows but yeah that is how you go ahead and add in a glow effect on blender though so that's gonna be all for this video so go ahead and leave a like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications, and I'll see you all in the next video.